What's going on guys, your boy Mason, we're back with another video, and in today's video, guys, we're going to be predicting the Global Anniversary Festival banner, and who could actually be featured on it, guys. In this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you guys my predictions for each character that could be on the banner, and we'll kind of discuss uh, my reasonings for each character being on it based on the previous Global Annie Fest, and we'll also discuss what the original ones actually did look like as well, guys. So if you guys enjoy videos like this, man, definitely make sure to like and subscribe. Um, I definitely do appreciate all the support as of late, guys, you know, definitely, uh, do appreciate all of it and uh, with that out of the way man we're actually gonna hop in here and go over the characters that i think could be on the global annie banner now let's actually open up the uh tier list maker that i have here and this is my uh you know tier list or well i guess the banner that i think we could actually be getting right so uh for before we actually talk about this let's actually go back to the previous ones and i'll give you guys my reasoning why i think a lot of this does make a lot of sense so if we go to queen Deanne's banner um this was the second global annie fest so i think we had lolly merlin before that um but i decided to go with queen Deanne as the uh this one and then also myel's banner to kind of you know look at and and evaluate the characters from these two banners and i wanted to use them as kind of examples here before we talk about the main global annie fest um that we could actually be getting this year right so uh, for Queen Deanne's banner, we had Queen Deanne, the one Escanor, Purgatory Bond, and also Chad King. This was the, what, yeah, so second Global Annie. And, uh, yeah, the characters on it, we had the first year anniversary unit. We had the second uh, year anniversary unit. These are JP Annie's, right? We also did have uh, Chad King, which was the November festival the year prior. So remember this, guys. And this is going to be very important in terms of my predictions here for the uh, upcoming one, right? Um, looking at Myel's banner in terms of the festival lineup, we had Festival Zeldris, Margaret Kusak, Esterosa, and Light Liz. Now, the one trend that we saw from these two banners right here, guys, is that they actually did include the previous JP Annie festival festival on the banner so that is why i have transcendent bond on this banner it also makes a lot of sense as well because transcendent bond is a human and he busts the human race that arthur would definitely benefit from having a character like this on the banner so if you actually look back here purgatory bomb is the second jp annie and then queen diana was the second global annie and then right here uh light liz was the third jp annie and then myel was the third global annie so it actually like yo this is kind of crazy that this all kind of just makes the makes sense here um, in terms of the uh, lineup. And also, another thing I just noticed, Queen Dian, Purgatory Bond matching types, Mael, Liz matching types. So does that mean we're going to be getting a light attribute, uh, you know, Chaos Arthur? Maybe, guys, maybe. But that's just kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, just uh, me kind of thinking out of the box there. But yeah, so Transcendent Bond, that's the first character I think could be on the banner. Now, for the rest of the characters that are on it, look at the, the characters we have here. Um, Aster Rosa was a if i'm not mistaken july festival so like demon king slot last year now i decided not to put that character on this banner because i feel like it, it's a little too not not necessarily early but i feel like they they wouldn't put demon king on this banner i mean you know hey they could do it but i just don't see them actually uh following through with that um another character that i thought could be on the banner as well guys is my yell but one thing i did notice from the previous global annie fest is that they did not include the previous one um from the year prior so you know like miles banner did not include queen dn um queen dan's banner did not include lolly merlin so you know they don't really you know include the previous year's global annie fest so that's another thing that i did uh kind of uh when going through the festivals i kind of took as an idea so yeah now moving on for the other characters infinity merlin guys was the september festival of 2022 if i'm not mistaken i could actually be wrong but i think this was the september fest for 2022 or no was it no, it wasn't 2023. It was definitely 2022. Um, 2023 September festival was uh hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hell. Um, so now for the uh, characters, the reason why I predicted these two characters to be on the banner, main thing is is that Merlin is being used right now. Another thing as well is that it's kind of the theme, right? You know, Merlin and Arthur. Obviously, uh, those two have uh you know the connection that they have, and also the fact that I think Merlin right now is a really good character with her holy relic. So definitely a desirable character, and I think another character that could be on the banner and. Uh, hell uh obviously has not rerun yet right she was the september festival from last year and uh in terms of september fest that they've repeated they have repeated september festivals um i think um if i'm not mistaken i think margaret kusak were the year prior than uh the year before this though so that's the only thing before my l release it was the year prior um and before Esterosa. so uh, yeah i think uh these were the uh september fest of 2021 i think yeah so about two years before that though guys so that is definitely something to take into account but that's also why i put uh festival gold there because i think he slots in in that september festival slot as well 
So that is another reason why I actually did that. He was the one from the year prior. And then uh, Ultimate Asnor just kind of made a lot of sense, guys. He's another human character. You know, he's a festival. The one Ultimate, it just makes sense, guys. I think I think it does. Especially since I think he could work really well on the human team anyway, Um, if you don't have Alar Asnor. So yeah, that is pretty much my festival lineup and the predictions for that. We'll see if I'm right about any of those. And the reason why I actually picked six festivals, guys, is because we wanted to match the Mael banner, which also had six festivals. And this is the most recent one. So I tried to mimic this banner uh, mostly versus like Queen Deanne's banner where you know this one I didn't really like completely mimic mainly this banner that I that I tried to like you know go based off of but uh yeah in terms of like obviously the units and stuff but yeah no now for the regular characters on the banner guys this was a kind of a hard one because I didn't want to make the banner too good guys but obviously we had to put some bad filler in the banner too so uh, for the reasoning for some of these characters here, let's go to the previous uh, Global Annie Fest banner. And uh, yeah, so a lot of these characters down here at the bottom, guys, you can see. We got a bunch of Coin Shop Commandments. We got a bunch of Coin Shop Sins. Now, that is exactly why on this banner, I slotted a bunch of them in. We got four Coin Shop Sins. We have four Coin Shop Commandments. And I just kind of picked them out randomly. I mean, obviously, some good ones like Red Zeldris is pretty good. Um, Monsmeet's obviously very good after his Relic. Red Gloxinia is really good after his Relic, too. So definitely some options that I thought could be, you know, not not necessarily super bad but if maybe you pull like red glocks or like droll or whatever um it could maybe be a dupe for you and then yeah i mean the uh coin shop sins i did pick out some of the uh, better ones i think uh nunchuck bond is obviously not the greatest but he is a uh, another human character too right and then uh Askinor as well so i decided to slot those in and then demon melee and red gulther i thought would be a pretty good fit as well so those are the coin shop sins and commandments that i decided to put on the banner now uh looking at the rest of the banner here guys they had some goddess characters so like tarmiel sorry and I thought uh, we could definitely put those two in as well um, because the thing is with uh, Tarmiel and Sario is that they're kind of old at this point, guys. I mean, they came out in 2022, right? Um, I think uh, Sario was like the beginning of 2022 and then... Uh yeah, no, Tarmiel was, like, around the middle of 2022. So he came a little bit after Queen Deanne as well. And so, yeah, I mean, these two characters definitely are kind of getting older now, but I think could be, you know, characters that could fit on the banner. I think they're definitely options. Um, another uh, assortment of characters here that I decided I would do, um, from the bottom two right here, you guys see is Elad and Nanashi. I thought we could pick some, uh, you know, random characters to slot in that would, like, kind of match those characters. Now, uh, this Meliodas, if you guys remember, kind of has a similar, uh, you know, effect to the nanashi right he has the uh if you have two cards or less you know he fits that slot so i was like okay we might as well put the melee right um garad is also a very old character that i think is not really great but uh yeah just another filler character guys i had to kind of you know i couldn't make this banner too good guys you know that's another thing as well as that we've kind of looked at uh, at the past banners and we can see that the global anti festival banners in terms of the filler have never been that great right it's always about the main festival and i mean this year if they would do something like this would be kind of a decent banner though i mean the festival like units wise from this look pretty good to me though that that's one thing i will say but uh, yeah i mean overall though i didn't want to make it too crazy ju ju uh, just to bear that in mind right i didn't want to make it too crazy guys because i think that marble obviously they're not gonna have every best scene in the game on every new upcoming festival banner so i had to kind of like you know uh you know <laughs> bring myself to reality here i couldn't obviously put a bunch of like broken characters but yeah no moving on from like all these characters from the bottom half here guys we actually did add tristan and ragnarok bond i think they make a lot of sense tristan kind of leads into the four koa uh kind of idea whereas um arthur is also like a you know the last chapter of seven Lily sins it makes a lot of sense that he could be um on the banner to, uh, as well as tristan right uh, Ragnarok Bond, I think, is a pretty good human backline. You know, he could be pretty nice if you don't have Transcendent. Um, you know, the attack-related stat increase, the lowering of the enemy's related stats as well could be pretty good. The next three characters here that we got on the banner, guys, are going to be the uh, some Catastrophes, and I thought to pick some of the better ones, right? You know, I, I had to get, you know, some of the better has to be good, though, guys. Uh, Mono, uh, Easton, and then Awakened Roxy. I think these ones are very good. These two are Seasonals. This one is not a Seasonal, but is really, really good as well, and I think Roxy is still one of the stronger... Um, um, human characters in the game and again like you know if we're filling out this banner for uh arthur here we kind of have to fill in some other humans like look at miles banner they had some goddesses on here right um mael sario tarmiel ludo yeah the uh, red tarmiel the green sario uh blue margaret like light liz like they really filled out this banner with a bunch of goddesses last year and so i think this year like the human thing can definitely be filled out as well like we gotta fill out a bunch of humans on on the banner and i think these three make a lot of sense same with jenna and zaneri these two were a combo unit uh, or combo uh, characters they did release around the same time they were the valentine's characters of 2020 so very very old 
right? Like uh, a, a long time ago. Um, it turned well when JP uh, got them, I guess, right? They were Valentine's 2020. So yeah, I think I could have also probably slotted in a lane as well. Yeah, so this red lane right here was actually another character that did release alongside these three. So honestly, they could slot her in. I was just thinking like mostly the fact that these two were humans that I was like, okay, we could fit them on the banner. Also, Jenna just recently got a Holy Relic. Maybe Zaneri could maybe get her Holy Relic sometime soon as well. That's just another like, you know, uh, headcanon type thing, guys. But I thought I would include them. And then the last character here, guys, is going to be LR Asnor. I think he makes a lot of sense being on the banner. Um, obviously, Arthur is going to work really, really well with LR Asnor as long as they're both humans, right? Uh, you you know, we have people thinking uh, Arthur's going to be unknown. I think he will be human, though. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Obviously, LR Asnor is the main LR human buffer right now. And, uh, yeah, he's really, really good. So, that is pretty much my predictions right there, guys, for the festival banner. Again, we will see what the actual banner does look like on Wednesday. So, definitely tune into the live stream that I'm going to have scheduled for the actual reveal. And I will also be talking about it on the Sacred Treasure podcast as well, guys. So, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, man. Let me know what you guys think of my predictions in terms of the banner here. Obviously, again, guys, we can't make it too crazy. We can't make it too bad, though. We obviously have to find a middle ground. And I didn't want to, you know, put too many, like, super broken characters. But I also didn't want to put too many really bad characters right we kind of have to like fill it in and uh average it out right there so yeah man let me know what you guys think that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys do enjoy and we'll see you guys on the next one man peace out have a great rest of your day guys see you later man